I grew up playing games with blocky graphics on arcade machines, Atari, and on my trusty Spectrum. When I was a child, I played as a child, but when I grew up, I put away childish things and started playing with Excel instead. Excel gets lonely sometimes, and I want to bring in some of my old friends, so I'm going to work out the Excel formula for Pac-Man. If you want to see more of these videos, please leave a comment to let me know your favourite games. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here's the little fella in all his glory. Looks like just a yellow circle with a triangle cut out. I'm out. A circle. Pac-Man's natural environment is in Excel. Before I can make Pac-Man, I need to give him somewhere to live. I just change the column widths to make it look like a blocky grid. Pac-Man won't move from the central point. Instead, the grid will move around him, like in these examples. With a bit of conditional formatting, Pac-Man will be yellow and the background will be black. Conditional formatting changes the color of the cell based on its value. So this Excel equation is going to be one value for Pac-Man and a different value for the background. Pac-Man is 13 pixels high and 13 pixels wide. Looks like a circle with a radius of 6 or 7. And we can't do half pixels. This is the Excel formula for a filled circle with a radius of 7. Doesn't look much like Pac-Man. Try again with a radius of 6. Better, but it's still not Pac-Man. And here he is. He has the same height and width, but a different curvature. So, technically, Pac-Man is not a circle. Told you. Whacker. Now that I have something to move, I can test that too. This still doesn't look much like Pac-Man. I mean, what's Pac-Man without his mouth? Very quiet. Whacker. I needed triangles with the right slope starting at the right point. It took a bit of trial and error. This Pac-Man was a bit slack-jawed. This Pac-Man looked like he was blowing kisses as I got the placement of the triangle right. Maybe he wants someone to kiss, like another Pac-Man, or maybe even a Ms. Pac-Man. This is where the grid comes in handy. Don't change the triangle, just move the grid around him. Pac-Man can now go left and right, but he needs to go up and down too. And this is it, the XL equation for Pac-Man. He moves left and right, up and down, and his mouth open so he can go whacker. So that I could just click a button and have Pac-Man move across the screen, I created this table. This is a step-by-step -step table telling Pac-Man where he should be on the screen and what he should be doing. I connected this table up to a scroll bar, but that's a topic for another video. Here's the whole thing one more time. Hit that like button and subscribe for more Excel art. Don't forget to put in the comments your favourite old games and I'll animate the best suggestions in Excel. Thanks for watching.